All right, good day. Hope everybody's having a good one out there. So there's been a, a whole lot of uh, to do about the uh, Mick Mars and Motley Crue lawsuit. The last uh, 48 hours um, have been pretty uh, uh, intense, releasing a, a, a statement from Motley Crue themselves um, that reads, Mick's lawsuit is unfortunate and completely off base. In 2008, Mick voted for and signed an agreement in which he and every other band member agreed that in no event shall any resigning shareholder be entitled to receive any monies attributed, um, attributable, sorry, to live performances an example tours. Um, after the last tour, Mick publicly resigned from Motley Crue, despite the fact that the band did not owe Mick anything, and Mick owing the band millions in advances that he did not pay back. The band offered Mick a generous compensation package to honor his career with the band. Uh, manipulated by his manager and lawyer, Mick refused and chose to file this ugly public lawsuit. Equally unfortunate are his claims about the band's live performances. Molly Crew always performs its songs live, but during the last tour, Mick struggled to remember chords <laughs> played the the wrong songs and made constant mistakes which led to his departure from the band. There are multiple declarations from the band's crew attesting to his decline. The band did everything to protect him, tried to keep these matters private to honor Mick's legacy and take the high road. Unfortunately, Mick chose to file this lawsuit uh, to badmouth the band. The band feels empathy for Mick, wishes him well, and hopes that he can get better guidance from his advisors who are driven by greed. Now, this is, this is going to get ugly. This is going to get real ugly because, um, you know, Mick, there's a whole other art where Mick did an interview with with uh, Vanity and I mean Variety and uh, sorry. And uh, he he talks about the fact that he's been pulling this band and that um, Nikki's base was 100 uh, percent on uh, pre-recorded. Uh, the drums, uh, he can't attest to all of it, but, you know, he, he mentions the fact that, you know, he knows people have seen it and there's been videos out there that have caught the fact that, hey, how are you playing drums when you're not behind your kit? Um, the fact that they, you know, they want to say, you know, we're taking the high road, but then try to throw mix, you know, oh, bad playing and blah, blah, blah. Well, from what I'm gathering, at least he's playing some songs for real. You don't seem to be. And there's, there's a lot of video and stuff out there showing that, you know, like bass chords being played while you're fist pumping and stuff like that. I mean, um, we uh we can go through some of the now uh the thing they keep pushing um is they've been they've been like kind of browbeating him and stuff quite a while according to him and you know he basically is you know of the mind that th this is mine i came up with the motley crew moniker i've you know put uh, my heart and soul and blah, blah, blah into this. Um, but at the same time, not to get too much ahead of ourselves, but I wonder if 
you know, if, is this all over just tour monies? Like, he wants a percentage of, you know, of what? What they're making on the, you know, what does... Um, and if that was what was signed in the contract, um, now, he talks about the fact that they've, you know, done this unilateral thing I talked about in my last video, taking him out of, like, several companies that, you know, the band um, has. They have LLCs and, and all this, um, that he has been being removed from from all these things. And, um, well, you know, he says the thing that they keep pushing for many years is that I have a bad memory and that that's full-blown out of proportion crap. Around 2012, when they first started saying that my memory was bad and I didn't remember the songs, I, I came home and saw my doctors because I, I, keep, myself, I keep myself together because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm an old bastard. They had, they had all the 10th Street people there. That's the people from the band's management. Um, probably about five or six people. Um, and versus all my doctors uh, going, there's nothing wrong with them. And now they're still playing that same old game with me. So no, the truth is, I want to retire from touring because of my AS, um, which is a, uh, a spinal disease, which fuses vertebrae uh, uh, together. It's very, very painful uh, stuff. Um, but uh, it's, uh, well, it says, you know, inflammatory arthritic disease that causes vertebrae to fuse. Uh, I don't have a problem with remembering the songs. I don't have a problem with any of that stuff. But I do have a problem with them constantly, the whole time, telling me that I've lost my memory. No, wrong. That's wrong. That's absolutely wrong. But my stupid body is telling me, no, don't do that. Meaning, Tor. Uh, you know, I'm going to be 72 years old and I've been touring with these guys 41 years, helping build this brand, helping do this and that. And you're served with papers and going, this is crazy. This is stupid. I mean, come on. Now, it seems like the band is trying to frame things one way or minimize their assault all while kind of being backhanded and he's seems to be way more forthcoming about you know what's what's going on here now regarding his allegations in the suit that 100 percent of the bass parts were pre-recorded and some of the singing and drum parts were not live mars said uh, yes, on this particular tour, Nikki's bass was 100% recorded. Tommy Lee's drums, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there was a lot. I can't say he did all of it recorded, but there were some reports from people in the audience that said, oh, I heard the drums playing, but there's no Tommy on there. Th there's actually film of this. Um, the song started and there's no drummer. Stuff like that. And actually, everything that we did on that stadium tour was on tape. Because if we didn't, if we missed a, a part, the tape would just keep rolling. You'd miss it. So, you know, listen. What musician is going to say these things if, I mean, this... I have to believe that this is accurate. I mean, um, and he seems to have a problem with it. And that's, you know, um, been on his mind, I guess. Um, now, to, to him missing parts and stuff, I've even seen people in the comments, you know, like mention, oh, I was at a show and he screwed up, blah, blah, blah. Well, I would rather see a guitarist screw up and it be for real than it just be them miming to 
their own music. Now, he says, anyway, that was the worst 36 gigs uh, ever had with the band. Um, he added, it was 36 instead of originally it was supposed to be 12 because they knew I wanted to retire from it after that. Mars says in the suit he did not want to do the extra two dozen dates that uh, got added, but went along with it. Um, I don't know, and, and I can't say I, posit I positively know, but I have a pretty good feeling that they wanted me gone anyway, because they've been wanting that since forever. It's just frustrating for me. I'm pretty upset that they've been pulling this crap when I carried these bastards for years. I mean, he's kind of letting loose. Um, and he's not being shy. He's being pretty, pretty forthcoming. And I mean, the, the interview goes on and, you know, he talks a bit more about, you know, how they've been pulling this kind of with him, like where he's kind of been this outcast in the band uh, for, for years. Um, as for what he expects to happen from here, now that he has filed the suit, Mick says, I think that those guys are hoping that I'll just uh, fold and lay down because I've done that for many years. But that's the thing I helped build for 41 years. I'm sorry. You're not going to take it. Take that from me. I worked very hard for that. It's mine. I'm keeping it. You can't have it. Sorry. But they're well prepared. I can already tell you because I've known them that long too. But I'm not backing down. I'm not going to fold. And we'll see what happens. I'm most definitely not afraid of them or intimidated or anything else. So this is the, you know, this is when you put in the term, you know, the gloves are off thing. Um, uh, I, you know, and on the topic of uh, whether he thinks uh, Motley Crue fans will be disappointed. I mean, you know, uh, you know, he he's pretty spot on, you know, you know, but he also thinks that, you know, people have become pretty much accustomed to thinking that, you know, bandmates hate each other on the tour anyway. So it's no surprise, you know, uh, but, you know, yeah, he believes people are going to be disappointed, but at the same time, not surprised. Um, and. And of course, um, Sasha Freed, their litigation counsel for the for the band, has released statements via CNN and uh, all this, and um, you know the, the full statement that I uh, read uh, earlier. It's it's getting crazy, and um, I think there's going to be more mudslinging to come. Um, it's it's a sad sad way to see these. See these guys like, you know, end it all. Um, and it's, you know, kind of a, again, it's a, I, I feel like Johnny Five's just an excellent guitarist. It's like, I'm just here to, you know, party and play guitar, man, you know. And now he's, you know, kind of this <laughs> guy caught in the middle a little bit, you know. I mean, nobody has talked about him at all, but it, it's, awkward <laughs> you know like mom and dad are fighting <laughs> you know type of thing so um yeah awkward uh situation for him and just all around kind of a sad uh um you know uh, situation for for the band people don't want to see these guys end like this, you know, they, they got lucky to be able to revive and then come back and do a stadium tour. Um, but for it to, you know, end up, you know, with mud slinging and stuff, I mean, I don't know, hopefully they can get things sorted out and it can be a little bit, uh, more amicable or, you know, amicable or whatever, but I don't, 
I'm not going to hold my breath. I think that there's probably going to be more to come and if the media has its way, you know, so uh, we'll see. And, um, you know, but yeah, that's the, uh, that's the latest on the Mick Mars Motley Crue thing. There's a, there's uh, a few articles over on Blabbermouth. This was kind of both of them mixed together and um, stuff like that. So yeah. Um, hope everybody out there is having a good day. Hope it's going as good as it possibly can be. We got plenty more stuff to talk about. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I mean, this is getting kind of uh, getting kind of nasty. But uh, what do you think? I mean, um, you know, is is there a side to be on here, or do you think you know he's in the right? You think they're in the right? I think there also needs to be more, spe you know, specified on what he's actually looking for financially, you know, and if contracts are contracts you know so um yeah so let's it's a we'll see what happens kind of thing but yeah let me know what you think and uh in the meantime have a great day out there we'll see you in the next one